Hi folks, welcome back to the cabin at Frog Hollow. Uh, today we're uh, talking about uh, Great Lakes flies and those who developed them. I'm in the hot seat today. We're doing a bunch of my flies. Uh, this one's no exception. We just call this the caddis larva. Tied on a heavy wire hook, uh, steelhead strength if you will. This is a TMC 2457, uh, size 8 and 10. This fly came about because back in the days when I was a young guy, you know, we would kill a steelhead once in a while, and uh, I, would, I would clean it for the guests. And uh, we would check entrails to see what these guys were eating. And trust me, they were eating caddis larvae. This, this particular uh, caddis that we have most prolific in the streams right around our neighborhood here is a free-living caddis larva called a Rhyalcophilia. Ranges in color from uh, muddy olive uh, right up through this bright chartreuse. We find that the bright chartreuse is day in and day out the best. Um, you know, if, if I had 10 of them in my box, probably six or seven of them would be chartreuse. The rest would be those more subtle colors for ultra clear water and spooky fish, that sort of thing. But uh, <clears throat> the key on this, uh, what keyed me into this was fall steelhead. When I say fall steelhead, I mean September, October, when the salmon were in spawning, digging their reds. They were flushing, obviously, large numbers of these caddis larvae out of the gravel and the rocks of where they were digging. And the steelhead would lay 6 to 20 feet behind them and uh, they would just pack themselves with these nymphs that were three to five millimeters in length. And uh, the whole intestinal tract would be full of them. So we started, uh, you know, we started tying them. I made uh, simple flies of Aunt Lydia's uh, rug yarn and, you know, a peacock hurl uh, head. Uh, didn't even rib them back in those days. These, these days, of course, we've got all this great material uh, this is, uh, you know, a dub body ribbed with copper wire, uh, same, same size, same look, but boy, what a pattern. Um, I would guess if you looked in all of the guides fly boxes in the Great Lakes region where you have, uh, f you know, freestone rivers, you're going to find a bunch of these flies in their fly box and for good reason. Excellent fly. I would put this back in the uh, oh, mid-70s category when I uh, first started doing this to any extent. And one of the top producing flies of all time for Great Lakes Steelhead. So caddis larva, few colors, few sizes, but fish it. It's an outstanding pattern. Enjoy. Enjoy.